Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. I don't know, because I'm not at my computer, but anyway. What you're looking at is my Bofang radio and the multiple antennas I got to review. I was finally able to find someone to help me program the local repeaters into my radio. And I'm at a park today. See if we can pan around here. And I'm trying to get away from interference as much as possible. I was trying to find a table that was as far away from any interference as possible. So we're going to give it a try, see how it goes. So let me zoom out a little bit here. Now, probably the, um, my voice is going to go down because I'm going to be away from the camera, so hopefully it's still loud enough that you can hear me. Anyway, before I sit down, what I'm going to do is I've got a bunch of the local repeaters programmed into the Bofang, and I'm going to see if I can reach them using the various antennas. Okay? <clears throat> fell okay I'm not in the picture but that's not important what's important is that the radio is in the picture so here's the radio here are the various antennas um, three of which I got from MSJ and one I ordered from Amazon and then of course the stock antenna that's on the radio right now and we're gonna move we're going to see, and I've got, besides my data sheet that I made, I've got the, somewhere, pages are sticking together, <clears throat> I've got a map of the local repeaters here in Pinellas County, and what I'm going to do is try to hit a couple of those repeaters using the various antennas. Yep, put this down. Okay, we're gonna start with finding my pin. <clears throat> we're gonna start with the stock antenna. Comes with the uh, Bofang. Now apparently there's a couple of stock antennas that come this radio. So this one might be different than the radio you get. Okay, so we're on uh, the CARS, what, that's what it's called, Color Amateur Repeater Society, or uh, Radio Club Society. Um, and that's, uh, let's see, that's channel 74. So we're going to see if we can hit it. This is not very scientific, but it's something. KE4 GSK. Okay, apparently we did hit the repeater because we did get a uh, echo back which most repeaters will give you an echo back uh, like a call sign or something to indicate that you've hit the repeater <clears throat> so that one apparently hit the repeater try it one more time okay oh. okay so that's using the stock antenna now I'm going to switch antennas Turn power off. Switch antennas. I don't know what the which is the most effective is to try various repeaters with the same antenna or try various antennas. So we're going to go with the stubby. This is a little stubby antenna from MFJ. It's model number 1719S. I guess the S stands for short. I don't have much hope for this guy, but we'll give it a try. So. All right, here we go. This is KE4 GSK testing. Yep. I got to acknowledge. So the little stubby is working. Now, I would guess, just glancing at the map right here, <clears throat> that we're pretty close to this repeater. 
and I'll look up uh, the distance later on when I get back home. But we're pretty close to that repeater. That one did okay. Which probably means it all will work. Okay, we're going to go with this one, which is the one I ordered from Amazon. It's model number NA701. But I decided to just leave the radio on even though I'm changing antennas, which is probably not the best idea. KE4 GSK testing. Okay, there again, that one uh, had no problem hitting that repeater. I think they're all going to do good on that repeater. It's pretty close. I would guess it's within a mile or two. So it should not be a problem for any of these antennas. Okay, this is the MFJ 1717. SFZ. This is KE4 GSK testing. Yep, no problem. And the last one I'm going to try, whoop, um, guess what? The antenna just flew, just fell between the cracks. Oh, I gotta pick that up. Oh gosh, stand by. Should have brought like a little tray to put these in. Does it do roll? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try the MFJ1717S. This is uh, pretty long. Okay, there's the call signs from the repeater. So I can definitely hear the repeater. And we'll see if we can hit it. Okay, for GSK testing. Yep, no problem. So it appears for that repeater, which is, like I say, very close, we had no problems whatsoever. So I'm going to give that one, all those, a check mark. Oops, what repeater was that? That was 74. I'll check it wrong thing. 74. Okay, now we're going to go back to the stock antenna. And we're going to go to my channel 57. Which should be about three miles, three or four miles from KE4 GSK. Okay, I didn't get anything from that, but that doesn't mean that it didn't reach it. Maybe that repeater is not on the air. I, you know, I haven't tested. This is the first testing I've done of these repeaters. And that's why I chose the one that was the closest that I knew is an active repeater. Okay, we're going to try a different repeater just for that. Let's see what we got. Uh, 67. Let's try channel 67. KE4 GSK. Uh, again, nothing heard. That is probably maybe six miles from me. So I'm going to change antennas. This was the stock antenna. So I'm going to go with one of these big boys here and see if they can hit that repeater. Okay, this is the 1717S, KE4 GSK, nothing heard. Okay, so that was another dud, that was 67. Oh, again, trying to find active repeaters. Let's try 14721, which is 80, which is channel 80. Zero, zero, eight, zero. zero. This is KE4 GSK. This is not good. Okay. What about 58? 58. Zero, five, eight. This is KE4 GSK. Okay, that one I hit. Let me turn the volume up. 
Okay, that one I hit. And that one is probably um, maybe five miles from me. So that was the 1717S. And that was repeater 58, I believe. 58, 58. 1717 yes, that's a yes. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to the stock antenna. Okay, E4 GSK. Okay, that is good. That is a stock antenna on number. 58 again. Let's try the little stubby. This is KE4 GSK. No problem there. Okay, that was 19 minutes. Put that one. Okay, we'll try this one. This is the NA701. This is confusing, I'm sorry. Get you for GSK. Okay, that repeater will give you no problem whatsoever. Try the last one, which is this big funky one which has like a piece of wire in it so it's like never straight get you for gsk okay that was good so that uh that repeater is working good now the other thing is i had no way of verifying when this friend of mine programmed these repeaters that all the information was correct so that's another problem. Okay. Well, I'm still trying to find a distance. Okay, there's one 76. Let's try 76. Zero, seven, six. Okay, this is quite a ways away. We'll see. KE4 GSK. W-A-4-A-K-H. Repeater, the time is 10.14 a.m. Okay, I can definitely hear it loud and clear. I don't know if that's because I was able to hit it or it was just time to give the uh, call sign and time. I'll try it again. KE4 GSK. Zero, seven, six. Okay, that's good. Yep, I got a signal back, so apparently I'm hitting that one. And I can say that one is probably 10 miles away. Now the other thing that's a variable is that the repeaters themselves are different power. They also they're at different heights, heights, height, and so that's a variable by itself of the repeaters themselves. So I got that with a big long antenna, which is the 1717 SFZ. We'll go down to the stubby and see if that will work. Okay, here's the stubby. KE4 or GSK? Nope. Stubby didn't make it. Doesn't surprise me. Try it one more time. KE4 or GSK? Nope. No stubby. And I said this was repeater 76. So let me mark this. 76. This one made it a stubby, which is 1719S new. Okay, now we'll try the this guy right here. Oops, come back here. which is the 1717S from MFJ. KE4 GSK. No. Hmm. 
This is KE4 GSK testing. Okay, we got it on our second try, so I'm assuming that was sufficient. I may not have keyed it long enough the first time. So we're going to get a 17, 17 a yes, and then we'll go to the, and that's a pretty long antenna. We'll go to the NA701. I hope the volume is loud enough you can hear me. Okay, for GSK testing. This is KE4 GSK. Nope, it failed. I was hoping that would be a pretty good antenna, but conditions were the same. That one failed. So that's a no. And we'll go back to the stock antenna. This is KE4 GSK testing. No. One more try. This is KE4 GSK testing. Nope. So, it looks like only the biggies. I'll check this one as a no. Now we'll go back to this biggie, which I prefer over the other one, which is like a piece of wire that gets bent all out of shape. I'm going to go back to the 1717S, which is fairly long, especially compared to the stock. This is KE4 GSK testing, and it works. So there is a difference. So these two guys made that repeater, which I'm estimating is about 8 miles, and the shorter ones, even this one, and the stock one, did not make it. Okay, I'm going to quit testing now because I know this video is getting super long. And I'm going to go ahead and test, but I'm not going to record it. Then I'll give you the results later on in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.